Hi everybody, welcome to the Jarvis Board Studio. Excited to have you guys here today. Today we're going to be adding the strips to one of our hollow core DIY uh, paddleboard kits. Now this part of the process um, is a really enjoyable part of the process because you get to add each strip to the board itself and really start to begin to see it come to life. Now unlike some of the other systems out there, we've designed this kit so that each strip is added individually to the board. We do this for a number of reasons. One, it's a lot more manageable for the backyard builder to add each strip at a time as opposed to gluing together a 30 or 32 inch wide panel and then trying to clamp that down across the entire surface of the board. We found that it just is too unwieldy and there is often contact points that aren't firmly glued down across the frame itself. So while this system may add a little bit more time because you're adding each strip individually, we found that it, it just overall works quite a bit better and you're able to create a stronger, tighter bond. This part of the process, we assume that you've already assembled your frame and that you have it glued down or drilled down to a flat surface and a table. Um, and you're gonna start with the center strip, gluing it on first. You'll uh, essentially just find the center of that center strip that you wanna add to your board, mark that carefully and add a little bit of polyurethane glue and run that all the way down from nose to tail of your board, making sure that it's perfectly centered because everything's gonna work outwards from that. You'll wanna make sure you let that fully cure, maybe even overnight, to make sure it's firmly glued down before you start adding subsequent strips. Once you have that first strip glued down, you'll then begin adding subsequent strips working from the inside out towards the rails. Now here you can get away with adding a strip on each side at the same time, which often speeds up the process so you can glue it together a little bit quicker. Now this may seem a little bit kooky, but one of the things that we found that works well for holding the strip both firm and tight to the adjacent strip, as well as down to all of the ribs of, of each one of the boards, is adding a little bit of this, uh, this cling wrap or packaging wrap. You can take it cut a section of it, twist it together a little bit, and it has a nice strong elasticity to it, but it doesn't often break. Um, tie that to the frame and you're able to sort of cinch down each strip, pulling it both firm against the adjacent strip, as well as down to that, that hollow core frame on the inside. We found that using that system of, of tying that, that cling wrap to each one of the frame uh, sections really minimizes the number of clamps that you need when you're clamping each one of those strips down. The great thing about using polyurethane glue is it really doesn't require an insane amount of clamping pressure, um, so you're able to create adequate pressure, pressure using that system. So as far as gluing those down, you'll glue together um, all of the strips starting from the middle working out towards the outside. The process will be the same both for the top and the bottom of the board. Now the width of your strips or the design or patterns may differ on your board, but the system for gluing those down should be relatively the same, regardless of what model of one of our DIY kits you're building and regardless of what type of wood you're using. Now you may notice when you're gluing it down that not all of the strips are perfectly flush with each other on the top. That's okay. There may even be a little bit of glue squeeze out as well. That's also okay. The entire surface is gonna get planed down and sand down to a nice smooth final finish which is why you want each one of your strips to be a little bit proud of, of what that final thickness is gonna be so that you have a little bit of meat to work with when you're planing that down. We hope that you found this video informational and instructional. If you have any questions, reach out to us at support at jarvisboards.com or in the comment section below. If you uh, haven't started on your board yet, you can start with one of our downloadable plans at jarvisboards.com um, or you can start with one of our pre-cut frame kits there as well. And until next time, we'll see you on the water.